Now, to convert regular playing stereo CD audio tracks to MP3 using iTunes, all you have to do is this. Number one, click on Edit, Preferences, Advanced, Importing, and proceed to set the preferences for ripping MP3s. On CD Insert, ask to import CD. Sure. Import using MP3 encoder. Sure. Setting. Good quality, 128 kbps. Sure. Remember, the higher the quality, the larger the audio file will be, but 128 is CD quality, so that's good. Play songs while importing or converting? No. Let's perform one task at a time and not get distracted with music playing in the background. Automatically retrieve CD track names from the internet? You bet. Create file names with track number? Sure. Use error correction when reading audio CDs? Sure. When you're done, go ahead and click the OK button. Great. Now insert the stereo playing CD that you want to rip the songs that are on that CD to MP3 file format. Go ahead, take the CD and place it in the CD-ROM and watch iTunes recognize it in just a few seconds. There they are. Oh, and look at this message. Would you like to import the CD Tango in the Night into your iTunes library? Sure. But you know what? Let's hold off and just say no for right now. I want to show you something. Now, select or deselect the songs you want to rip to MP3 format. Then, right-click on the song or songs and select Convert Selection to MP3. And watch iTunes convert these songs off your stereo playing CD to MP3 format. Now at any time you can press on this X button right here and that'll cancel the ripping process in case you need to stop the ripping process for whatever reason. But if you would like to rip the entire CD and all the songs on there then just hey hands off and let iTunes rip those tunes into MP3s. Now you can see that iTunes is ripping one audio file at a time. You can see the progress bar right here and as it gets to the end you'll see that it will move to the next one. And then you will see that iTunes will go through each song one by one, converting it to MP3 file formats onto your computer. And all of these files are going to be thrown right into the music library right here. Now at any time during the conversion process from regular stereo playing CDs to MP3 format, you can toggle between the different departments or sections within iTunes, music, movies, TV shows, and these devices such as your nano player and the CD that you're actually ripping. You can see the contents and check the progress to see how you're doing. When you're done, you can play these files within your iTunes audio player. You can transfer them to your iPod audio player. You can copy the newly ripped MP3 audio files from within your iTunes library to a place on your computer where you store all your MP3 files like this. Select the file, right click, and show in Windows Explorer. Now, copy the song files from within this folder to the specified folder you want these files to go in like this. Highlight the file, copy it, then paste it inside the folder where you want it to go. Repeat these steps for future audio files you also rip to MP3. What this does is it moves a copy out of this folder, which is sort of like a temporary holding folder. It moves a copy out of this file folder into a more permanent folder on your computer where you permanently store all of your music audio files. A good thing. Now, back inside iTunes. If you wanted to delete or remove the file from within your iTunes library, you could do so by highlighting the file and selecting the delete option. Now, here's where you get the chance to remove the file altogether from the library and the iTunes folder where you just copied it to another folder on your computer's hard drive. You can also keep the file in your iTunes folder but remove it from your iTunes library. Your choice. I would make sure if I wanted to keep these files in MP3 format on my computer, I would make sure that I saved a copy of them outside of the iTunes library folder on my computer. Okay, And that's how you convert and rip audio files 
from stereo playing CDs to MP3 format using iTunes. Hey, go ahead and rip those MP3 files and listen away.